All right, so let's just do it. Hey, how's it going? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name's Heather, welcome to my channel. I'm starting a new series where instead of doing a Friday favorites every month or a favorites of the month, I'm gonna be doing a fifth Friday favorites. So anytime there's a fifth Friday, cross your fingers, I will be putting out a favorite. So you'll get one, two, three, four times a year. I'm not really sure how many fifth Fridays there are. So let's start with drinks. I've got a couple drinks. Number one is one that you saw in my cover photo and that and I've talked about this on my Instagram stories. I don't think I've talked about it yet in like a vlog but it's the Cherry Vanilla Coke Zero. This stuff is so good you guys. Oh my gosh like I like Cherry Coke Zero but this is like next level. I, I don't drink a lot of soda during the week. Um, I typically only drink it like if I have tacos or pizza. Like I've got certain instances that I drink soda and this makes me wanna drink it more, which is good, but also bad, probably just bad. <laughs> but delicious and I've only been able to find this at Walmart so far. I didn't see it at Target or Publix, so I've been having to pay full price, which is sad. Very sad for my coupon and sale loving heart. Next drink is gonna be any of the bubbly bounces. So this is just going to be a sparkling water, but this does have like 35 grams of caffeine in it. And so if you need just a little kick, which I mean, so there's how much caffeine in here? Oh, 30, this only has 33. So this has like two milligrams more. So yeah, I love all these different flavors. They're good, um, you know, cold typically. If you pour them over ice, they lose a lot of their fizziness, but it does mellow out the fizzy if that's not what you're looking for. But I usually drink these in place of soda when I don't want a lot of extra crap in there. And then the third drink is going to be the Premier Protein Chocolate Peanut Butter. This stuff is so good. It's like a dessert drink. So like if you mix it with ice, it might make a shake. I'm not really sure I haven't done that. I literally just keep this cold and drink it like in the afternoons or after lunch or whatever because it does go okay with um, coffee, like if you'd make the protein coffee in the morning, but this is one I can drink without it. There's a couple flavors that I can drink without the coffee in it, but definitely this one, I really feel like it doesn't need that extra caffeine at all. So if you're trying to not do caffeine, this is a great option. We bought ours from Sam's online. So I don't know, I think people had gotten it from Amazon maybe, but Sam's had the best deal when I went to look for it. So check for it on sale at your local like discount club, discount club. Yeah, check for it at your discount club. I, I make shirts uh, for like different events and stuff that we go to or ideas that I have. And so we have um, like a Mother's Day walk coming up. And I had seen, when I was looking for different like shirt ideas, I'd seen somebody use the Derek Shepard it's a beautiful day to save lives, or to save some lives, or it's a beautiful night to save some lives. On this tank top, we're gonna do it's a beautiful day to save lives. And I wanted to talk about a good place to get shirts if you, A, just need some plain colored tank tops or t-shirts and like you like Bella Canvas ones, or there's a couple of other brands that people really like. So if you go to jiffyshirts.com, I think if you spend $59, you get free shipping, but like this, tank top was, I'll put the price on the screen, but it's not too expensive. And then I also got like a V-neck of the Bella Canvas, which I love the way that the shirts fit and feel. They're so soft, um, they wash great. That, I got a black, like just a plain black V-neck. I'll put the um, price on the screen. I'll put the link to a couple of the shirts that I've mentioned. This tank top, the V-neck, uh, those are just preferred ones that we have. So anytime like I need a black shirt or a white shirt, I, you know, you can go to Walmart or Target, but you can maybe get them even slightly cheaper if you buy them in bulk or you know buy several different colors, buy ones for all your family and friends or whatever, but it's just one of the places that we found is a really good deal for wholesale shirts. Um, if you're going to be you know making a large quantity or wanting to buy some shirts for yourself. Okay, so let's talk about a couple of things that are just gonna be linked down below. One of them is MK Fit. If you've been watching my vlogs, you know I really like her. I like her style as far as working out. If you have a favorite workout person on YouTube, please leave them down below. What I really like about MK Fit is she does fun things, but she also is like, fake it till you make it. You know, if you can't give me 10 crunches, give me something that looks like a crunch. So I really, really enjoy her. The other thing is she does these like full body workouts with either, or, or you know, arm day, leg day, and then it, they're not so intensive that I'm like dying. Am I kind of dying? Yes, but like, it's not so bad that I can't make it through the whole thing. 
if that makes sense. This comes from Jessica Braun. If you don't watch her, I really um, love like her and her husband. Their dynamic together is really great. She's a, a makeup YouTuber, but she's broken off and started to do lifestyle stuff. And so I like her videos a lot more because I'm trying not to buy a bunch of makeups. She does when she shares her favorites. I definitely check those out. And one of the things she shared probably last month or maybe it was in some random thing, I don't know, was the Disney blue screen. So if you go to Disney, if you've ever been to Disney and stayed in their hotels, they have this thing that plays on the TV and apparently these people refer to it as the Disney blue screen and it just plays instrumental music, soundtrack music to their movies, shows, different things that they have. And so it's so nice to play in the background when like you don't need words because maybe you're trying to focus on something or read but you need some noise. It's amazing. I love it. I've been playing it over and over again and it really takes me back. I haven't been to Disney since before the pandemic so uh, yeah, really, really enjoy that. You should check it out if, you, if you're a Disney fan. Somebody commented on these shoes in one of my videos, and I love these shoes. These should have been in my Amazon faves because that's where I got them was Amazon. But I'll link that video down below, and I'll have the link for these down below because these are Birkenstock, and so they rinse off, they wash off. I've had these for a year and a half, two years, and they are starting to have wear on the bottom, so like sometimes I'll slip on this, and at some point I'll need to replace these. They're like 40, 44 dollars, something like that. I think I paid 40 for them, but a couple years ago, and they've since gone up, but they come in different colors. I like the black ones because uh, I, I typically have my toenails painted pink or red, and I don't. I didn't want pink sandals to mess with that vibe, but my favorite color is pink, just in case you didn't know. <laughs> They're perfect for like everyday wear to just kind of like wear around, and they look cute. I don't know how to describe like awesome shoes. They're comfy, they have a little bit of arch support. I think the last few things I have are like beauty, bathroom related things. This one is, a lush face mask that a friend of mine sent me. And it's the cup of coffee face mask. And it's got coffee grounds, ground coffee. So the coffee, oh my gosh. And it's, it smells pretty good. Um, it doesn't like 100% smell like coffee. I have another coffee scrub that I use, not on my face. This one is good for your face. So I usually just like to put this on. When I'm gonna be shaving, I'll put this on my face and then shave. So that way it's kind of on there and it's drying, but also not like over drying. I don't know, I haven't, I haven't used it actually outside of the shower yet. I really only use it whenever I'm kind of getting ready and, and pampering myself in the shower. I really like this. It makes my face so soft, so incredibly soft. And I have pretty sensitive skin, so I don't typically use like just anything on my face. I'm pretty careful, but I haven't had noticed any issues with this. The next one is, this is my favorite brand of uh, nail polish and this is the color cub brand color club brand i'm not wearing this color today but this is a color that i've been wearing non-stop this color i just got in the mail and this is their beach please so i like it but i don't know that it's like a favorite yet i haven't worn it over and over again that's to me what a favorite is you just continue to use it and use it this is the beach please color that i have that i'm wearing on my nails so if you were interested to see how close the bottle is to that and don't like you know, some of them are a little messy. <laughs> but yeah, I love Color Club. I've been using them for years. I, the place that I go to get my toenails done, I don't go very much anymore. A, because of the pandemic and because I'm trying to save money and just do it myself. But um, the place that I like to go, they would use this. And I was like, dang, I love this. These, like, these are bright colors. So as soon as I saw the brand, I was on the hunt. And that was when I found like a set of them and I used that set. I also gave that set as like an exchange giveaway kind of, not giveaway, as a exchange in like a blog or blog exchange. And yeah, if you ever see them at a discount store, pick them up because they're so beautiful, so vibrant, so pigmented. I have had some issues with like the lighter colors, you know, not being able to get full opacity, but that typically happens just with like colors anyway. So this one is called Single and Ready to Mingle, which is like the perfect uh, <laughs> nail polish name. Um, and I've worn it several times. I probably, it's probably gonna be more of, become more of a spring, fall one. Now that we're back into the summer, like everything I wear is like hot pink, neon pink, you know. I like this brand and you can sometimes find it at Walmart uh, for the individual bottles. TJ Maxx, Ross, Bell's Outlet, places like that sometimes will sell like a kit um, for, you know, like 10 bucks, you can get like eight nail polishes or something. But the other thing is if the, if you go to like colorclub.com, I'll have the link down below, that one, 
they do sales like once or twice a month typically. And like I just ordered this Beach Please one. They had a neon sale and it was like $5 bottles for neon and glitter. And so that's a really good price for, to me, these last the longest on my nails, longer than OPI, SE. I also do top coat, base coat, stuff like that. And I'm, and I'm pretty gentle with my nails. I try not to be all like crazy. If you're looking for nail polish, that's my fave. And, and they have just tons of like bright colors. And I love bright colors. Uh, I know, you're like, what is this random toothpaste? So this is the Dr. Bronner's toothpaste. The thing that I think makes this different from other toothpastes is it's Bobby Flav City recommended. <laughs> and in my opinion, like a lot of times I would brush my teeth in the morning or in the evening and then like I'd eat the next meal that I ate after it because you don't brush your teeth out. Like I don't brush my teeth after every meal. I brush them like in the morning, in the evening. And then like the next meal that I ate, sometimes I'd still end up feeling like stuff on my teeth. I feel like this actually helps keep repelling the stuff off. I don't know. I, I love the, the taste, the flavor. I love that the ingredients are not super harsh for you. Oh, oh, one more thing that um, isn't gonna be on screen or whatever, but okay, so I like to go line dancing and I hadn't been in years. I went recently with some friends because there was also a concert and they did this song that was really catchy and it's a little bit, little bit by Nelly and Florida Georgia Line. And so I'll link the uh, line dance if you want to learn <laughs> down below. But because it's got, you know, gets your body moving, get your heart pumping. And I just, the song is so catchy because it's like the country, it's the rap, and Nelly's back. So, oh my gosh, so good. Check it out. I added it to my my favorite like play me a song playlist or whatever and I'll link that down below too because that's I just add, as I like as I listen to a song and I li if I listen to it over and over and over again I'll add it to that list a lot of it's country some of it is Christian um but that's really just kind of the stuff I listen to every once in a while there'll be a pop song on there because like I hear somebody else play it and I'm like oh that's so good but anyway I think I talked about everything I'm going to talk about oh the other thing that I'm going to mention and I'm going to link it down below is the Robert Welsh Concealer Hack. It's how I did my eyes today. Let me move a little closer to the thing here. So uh, I'm in my mid 30s, mid to late 30s. <laughs> so I do have like wrinkles and stuff under my eyes. And so whenever you put concealer under your eyes, a lot of times, if you have any kind of wrinkles, it can settle into them. But luckily, Jessica Braun was doing like a, trying out your favorite makeup hacks that you use over and over again. And she tried this Robert Welsh one and I immediately tried it as soon as she did it. And so I'll share it down below because it's really awesome. You're not packing a bunch of concealer on that then sets in. Um, in fact, I don't really know, but I'm hoping there isn't anything <laughs> Um, But I'll even do this when we're wearing masks, because I don't wear a lot of makeup when I'm wearing a mask, because I know it just kind of rubs off and stuff. And so I've been doing the eye thing though, because I think it really makes my eyes pop. So that's another thing. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Share some of your favorites down below, whatever you're currently loving and continuing to use over and over again. Wait, there was one more thing. Okay, I couldn't hold everything in my hands, and then I've got stuff over here on the table that I'm done with. <laughs> This is another recommendation from both Jessica Braun and Taylor Wynn, actually. This is a shave oil, and they have a few different scents. I've only tried the Tahitian Vanilla Bean. It's a little strong, in my opinion. I'd like to try the lime one because uh, tropical, but I like this. I really like the way it works on my legs. I was always somebody that used, like, a cream um, from, there was a cream from Trader Joe's that a friend of mine had gotten me, and then a lot of times I just used, like, conditioner or whatever, or just kind of whatever I had to do it because I didn't have anything that like I absolutely loved. I don't like the foamy shaving cream that you know has been traditionally used for years and years. This is like 10 or $12, like this is kind of expensive, but I feel like it does um, last quite a while. I'll have to look back and I'll put on the screen how long I've had this, but I still have a third of the bottle I think left. Um, I do really like this stuff and I would recommend it as a fave. It's fave, guys, I can't wait to use it up and then try another scent. All right, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for sticking around and I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it helps support my channel. And leave your favorites down below, whatever you're using and loving. I, I'm totally interested in it, wanna know, so I can try it out. I hope you're having a fabulous day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.